I got started doing hair um, in 1984. I was 19 years old. Uh, was not anything I ever thought I'd be doing. In fact, it was the last thing I wanted to be doing. When all my friends wanted to be beautician, it was not me. After high school, um, I took a year off. Then my grandmother called me after that year and asked me, what are you gonna be doing? I mean, it's been a year. And I'm like, oh, I think I'm gonna take another year off. Just, mm, okay, that sounds good. But in the meantime, I enrolled you in Vogue Beauty College and you're gonna go to beauty school and for backup. And I'm like, uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> and she was like, yes, you are. I believe in order for a stylist to be successful is to be humble and to listen to your clients and pay attention to what they want and their needs. You can suggest in a nice way, this might be better for you, but you listen and you do your best to accommodate what they want. In order to stay on trend, you never stop learning and never get cocky. There's people that get cocky and they stop learning. You gotta be open-minded and know you never stop learning. I am a colorist. Not all stylists do color. I do it all. Ombre highlights, baby lights. I specialize in all types of hair. Men's cuts. I do kids hair. And then women's of course. So I do all types of hair. I, I do it all. Last summer I recently got into a business with Unique. It fell into my lap on social media and I had fall in love with the makeup. And that's what I use in the salon on my clients. It's high-end makeup. So if any stylists are watching this, you want to do as much as you can and work it all together. It'll benefit you, it'll benefit your client, and it's just a win-win situation. Yeah, I'm with Unique as a presenter, and um, I love it.